Welcome to Serenity Productions. Gotta hand it to these pirates. They sure know how to make a room feel comfortable. Yeah. King size bed, sitting area, even an ensuite. <laughs> Which you could be damn sure I'm taking advantage of that shower. I think it's pretty cozy. Kind of like the one in, you know, those really expensive train cabins they remake to make look like the old Orient trains from back in the day. Kind of reminds me of an Agatha Christie book. Maybe I should have brought a couple along. Just to use my mind. Why am I not shocked that you actually did pack a few books? <laughs> we could have missed a few mystery nights and it would have been fine. For the sake of the world. <laughs> okay, fair point. Then for the sake of our sanity, we'll keep up mystery nights. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You should probably take the desk. Don't know when the next time your family is gonna send an Ashen on through, and you'll need to respond quickly. Have you ever been to where we're going? I don't know. Maybe in your past life you were an explorer. Wow. <laughs> So, did you not get out much because it's like what your mom wanted, or because you like sticking to your own kind? <laughs> Considering I've never met a royal pureblood until you, I'm guessing those at the top like to stay at home. never asked my previous wards about pure blood hierarchy because I didn't need to know about it in order to help them get better. And honestly, the one time I did, I got hammered by the board for trying to find out more info than my clearance allowed me. Oh, the board has been pulling political bullshit since the board came into existence, it seems. And Eris likes to say they believe themselves to be as powerful as the council. <laughs> I think even you know by now, no one is above the council. Not the pureblood royals, not the many packs, not the phase, and no, not even the board. <laughs> can you, can you help me out of my armor? I think getting into something a little more comfortable might help with the stress. <laughs> Of course I always wear it. It was a present from you. Plus, I think it goes with my eyes perfectly. <laughs> I wasn't gonna not wear it just because we're in danger. I won't lose it if that's what you're worried about. Um, I never got a chance to compliment you on your look. Very royal warrior chic. <laughs> I like it. There are some ruins I don't think I've ever seen before either on it. 
Ah. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten those etched onto my armor before we left. Well, when I had to be B to get some things done, I can probably just get some etched on there. I mean, it's a big city. Any big city worth their salt has to have a good, you know, armory, right? What? No, I know that look. What's wrong? <laughs> you know it'll be with Big Bad, right? Who has proven themselves to be one of the top members of the acquisition team in the short time that they've been there. So I'll be safe. And it's not like I don't know how to defend myself. Are you saying that you don't trust BB? Then what? Hey. You think I want to split up from you right now either? If it didn't make sense, I would be fighting the decision tooth and nail. But it does make sense. I trust Cypher to have your back through thick and thin. I trust Scales and Eve to look after each other. And I know Big Bad will have my six the entire time. Pack mentality, remember? We're a team. We have to learn to trust each other. Entirely. Can you do that? Can I trust you to make sure that Cypher makes it back to this train in one piece? Thank you, babe. We're going to be fine. As long as we have each other's backs. Plus, you and Cypher know what we need to look for in the library, and you know me when it comes to buying things. I'm very much like my mother in that regard. I buy extra for any occasion. And knowing our luck, even extra might not be enough. <laughs> yep, yeah, should have enough coin. Think about like 20 pieces or so. What? You know I hate it when you chuckle like that, right? It makes me feel like I'm some sort of child who has no idea what she's doing. I know you didn't mean it like that, but... It just reminds me of Clay sometimes. Not to ever compare you to Clay, you're nothing like him, just... Yeah. Bad memories. Listen. I know you're older. And know a lot more. But I know plenty of stuff too. And I know the age difference and power imbalance might play into that. <laughs> but I need you to remember, I'm not just any little human you picked off the streets. I'm a pen agent. And part of the De La Cruz family. Which apparently holds more weight here than in the mundane. So, I'll let you know when I need to know stuff. Or when I'm confused. I'm not so proud as to not ask for help when it comes to that sort of thing. I know. 
Hey, sometimes I forget you're pure blood, so it's okay for you to forget that I'm a huntress born and raised. I got this. Good. I'm glad you know. <laughs> um, where did you get all this? Fair, but... What, you've just been carrying this on you since you were picked up by the acquisition team all those years ago? That's true, they did raid your place. But you never told me you had this much coin stashed away. Well, I guess today is that rainy day, huh? I'll be sure to spend it wisely. <laughs> Thank you, babe. You should go help out Eve with her Ashen Station before it gets too late. Harmonia knows that girl could use some rest. And hey, not to continue to nag you, but... Go a little easy on her, okay? Fangs, I get it. You're worried. And I appreciate that. But honey, you need to stop looking at her like she's a science project sometimes. She's my cousin. And right now, she needs us to have her back. Not monitoring her for signs of world-ending symptoms. You know Eve. She'll open up to you if you let her. Just give her time. Okay? Thank you. Now go! <laughs> the quicker you get that done, the quicker you get back and we can snuggle up together. Hey. I love you. I don't know, I don't feel like we say it to each other enough. So we should say it more. I know you do. Now get! 